Hey everybody, welcome back to more Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete, where last time we took down Neo Vane along with Borgen with it, and everything's kind of honky dory. And now we have the cave key, which should be somewhere in this list. Where are you? Uh, cave key, cave key! There it is, unlocks the Black Dragon Cave. The Black Dragon Cave is actually going to be right in here. Well, let's just hop right on in, like so. Unfortunately for me, I kind of had to go through this entire area, kinda, not really, just like one screen over. I mean, it's not terribly far, but if you want to be careful, there are some enemies on the way there. So just kind of be wary of that, and then you can just make your way around. No problem. Cave key was used, and we are right inside the next dungeon. The Black Dragon Cave. This area has a ton of monsters. Like, I'm not joking, there's tons of them everywhere. And my setup honestly isn't really the best for this at the moment. Yes, I have like this stuff going on and this stuff going on. Unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna be plenty useful here, so I'm gonna actually swap out and maybe do something else here. Let's see. I definitely want you attacking, but uh, let's see. Your range is kind of garbage, so that might be a good idea. I thought I'd do maybe, hmm. Just have you have more attack, that might be nice. But I can't really do much else. How about, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll give you more magic later, but for now, let's just buff your attack. Otherwise, you, actually, no, 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 no. No, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do range, because you, I actually want you attacking first. So we'll just do that, make you have a little bit more attack. You, on the other hand, some things in this dungeon are incredibly slow, so I really don't see the need to have you have that. So how about I give you maybe, let's see. Some more range sounds nice, but um, I don't really necessarily need that. So how about I just do this on you, give you all the wisdom stuff. I want your wisdom like stupidly high. So we'll make use of those Gorgon dolls. Just pop those on, there we go. Her wisdom is stupidly high. Because it's, she's not really going to be doing the best in this dungeon, honestly. There's a lot of enemies that are weak to physical here. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I actually went back and bought this because I realized I was kind of a dumb and forgot about that. So we got that. So what am I going to do with those crests that I just took off of Lamina? I'm going to give them the hero because um, I want him going first. <laughs> because I want them to be attacking constantly because there's some very fast monsters in this dungeon. So yeah, let's get started. Start off with some new enemies here. About three of the four. Wow, one battle, all right, that's fine. <laughs> all right, so we have the zombies. The zombies are pretty much just weak to attacks. Just attack, just outright, just attack. That's why I have hero attacking first, because these zombies are fast. They're zombies, so you wouldn't expect that, but they're fast. So if they're doing this, they're just gonna attack twice. If they're doing this, however, they're gonna go up to somebody and attempt to paralyze them, which can be a little of a bother. But that's pretty much all you really need to know about these ones. The webhead, on the other hand, they're pretty much weak to magic, so just use magic. If they are just kind of sitting there not doing anything, they're just gonna bite twice. But if they're doing this, they're gonna absorb HP from a character, which can be a bother. Can be a bother, but not really. You, on the other hand, the soul yanker. At least it's not a nipple yanker again. That's still weird. Yes, they are resistant to pretty much everything, and they're not really weak to much of anything, so just go in there and hit them with a physical attack. But if they are just kind of doing what they're doing now, they're just going to bonk you. But if the orb is flashing, they're going to hit somebody for range. So, yeah. All we really need to do is just go up and just kind of hit them with a post orb. You, on the other hand, can't really do too much of anything. So I'm just going to have you go and attack. You have three attacks. So just go and murder all these zombies. And Lamina, while you're not going to be able to go first anymore, at least be able to hit this thing. Dodge this. There we go, it's one down. Get some wax in there, get rid of all these zombies immediately. And then, there we go. Yeah, these enemies are not fast. Well, at least that thing isn't, but the zombies are. So that's why I have making sure that Hero and Gene go. Otherwise, that's pretty much all the new enemies in this area aside from one. 
So pretty much, yes, attack, 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 attack. That's all I'm doing for this entire place. I'm not gonna be wasting my MP like crazy because I don't want to be. Because this place can be a little tricky because there are tons of monsters. I'm not joking, tons of monsters. Oh, hero gains a level, perfect. And his attacks go up to three. That makes this place even easier. All right, let's grab the items around here. We got right over here, we have a healing nut. All right, um, nobody needs healing either. Okay, that's the first time I'm gonna leave a chest behind. That's fine. Let's see if I can make it so I need it. Yeah, if I can get by this place without using MP, that would be great. Lightning staff, it definitely might come in handy indeed. Let's actually go to Lamina. Actually, before I do that, I want to inspect it first. Lightning staff, right there. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Let's see, bam. Perfect. That would maybe be useful. Not sure. And Ronfar gains level, level 43. Yeah, that's not a lot of stat ups, honestly. Wish the attack or something would have gone up there. Oh well, continuing on. Let's see, this is a dead end. Right over here is where I wanna go. And Gene gains a level. Yeah, that's a much better level up. Ronfar, you should take notes. All right, but continuing on, I actually wanna check something. I got them, yeah, okay. I'm just making sure I got those ones on. Uh, Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> just making sure I have the paralysis things on because I heard the ding, but I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> All right, next room. Yeah, this dungeon's actually gonna be a dungeon where we start experiencing some overlap with the maps. Like, we're gonna be on some floors, but only sections on some floors. When everything's giving you like almost a thousand or even more, I don't need another one of those. Just experience every battle. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna make sure to heal. Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't even need to. That That's fine. Before I get into the next battle, before I get into the next battle, let's, yeah. <laughs> let's do a little bit of some tactics. I want to change this up just slightly. I wanna make it so I can actually reach enemies of Ronvar. <laughs> that would be nice. There we go. I could work with this for now. I'll move you down. Symmetry is nice. <laughs> there we go. All right, continuing on. Let me grab this, the force ring. It definitely will come in handy here because the force ring right here decreases damage caused by magic. Anything that does magic damage to you, it's kind of nice to have, especially in this dungeon where most things are like this enemy coming up really shortly is going to do some magic damage. The last new enemy in the area, the chaos fiend. Yeah, I don't like that it's covered up by the HUD a little bit, but in the Japanese version, it didn't have these fancy backgrounds going on, so you might have been able to see it slightly better. Maybe, I don't know, but let's see here. I wanna make sure to just do this one really quick. Actually, no. Mm. Yeah, that's fine, another one. All right, since now you can actually read something, go in there, and then you can attack, but this thing here, the Chaos Fiend, actually probably should go into it. So. It's resistant to pretty much everything but physical attacks. So just go in there, hit it with something strong like the Blue Dragon Palm. If it's just kind of not doing anything with its uh, staff here, if it's just going to be like leaning the way it is now, it's just going to bonk somebody. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. But if it's holding it up right, it's going to hit everybody with a magic attack. That does a lot of damage, so just kind of make sure to get rid of it as soon as you can. Yep, just going to bonk it and get rid of it. Uh, let me know on the other hand. I don't really think I can do anything with you this turn, so I'll just defend. Dodge this. All right, well, that's not as bad or good as I would have liked, honestly. Ronvar, get in there. Yay, the one that was actually going to do something. <laughs> Perfect. Lucia, can you take care of my blunder? That'll work. And Lamina gains a level. Attack going up by one might be slightly useful here, maybe? I don't know. He's continuing on. There's like a lot of enemies. Let me get rid of them really quick. Oh, y'all got rid of them? He's right up over here. Let me get rid of you as well. Ah! 
You gotta have a tucked away item right over here. Let me get around you. Ah! There we go. Over here, we get the Star Dagger. That definitely will come in handy because, like, the Star Dagger and all the other daggers before. It adds one attack, yes. It increases our luck a decent good amount. But these are actually pretty good for Lamina. Because, while well, yes, she doesn't really attack that often. There might be times that you want to go in and just get some extra hits in. Because you don't really want to be doing the magic. They're resistant to it. it it's a good trade-off to have her just be able to attack things a little bit more. Don't really necessarily need it now, but... Okay, either way, I probably should heal. There we go. Alright, now let me finally get rid of you. There we go, that should be everything on this floor. And honestly, yes, it is kind of worth it to do. Because everything giving you over a thousand experience here. You're going to level up decently fast. Like, pretty much 257,000. And I need that much to level up, 269,000 talking like what eight battles it's honestly not that bad just for hero alone and then just going off of that for everybody else it honestly works out i i think you should do it and if you kind of wind up running low on mp like if you are using your mp reserves a lot for some reason you could leave this place this place isn't that bad to get through honestly moving on though we do have something very very stupid Ow, ow, ow. We take damage when we walk through that. So, yeah. 255. 254 with Hero. It's very negligible. It is so stupid. I don't know why it even is a thing. Because it, you just don't take enough damage for it to even be a bother. But I guess it could hamper you if you walk on it too long. All right, now that he's dead, there should be a couple more here and there. And then going right up this way over here, make our way around. I touched that? Okay. That's not annoying at all. Let me get rid of you. Honestly, you're really not missing much when I cut out those zombie ones. It's literally just me going attack on everybody. But right over here, one pixel to get us to start us ring. Yeah, that thing's hidden like crazy. I don't know why, because it is kind of useful. The Stardust Ring restores some MP after every turn. That's amazing. That's very useful, especially if you like want to have somebody get their MP back that isn't getting their MP back. Problem is that everything I attack here, I um, I usually don't get a second turn off, but I'm going to equip this as a hero for now so you can kind of get its MP up maybe before I get to the end of this place. This place still has a lot more rooms to go. These battles really aren't even lasting a turn. Or not. I really wish they did. <laughs> that would have been nice to get that MP back, but nope. Alright, up here we go. Because now we get our first odd section. Where it's like, just a little itty bitty moment of we're just going through here. And now we're back on another part. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that way. I don't know why it is. Ow. Hero gains a level. Yeah, that extra attack is kind of nice, I suppose. Every battle is only taking a turn anyway. I'm not getting any more MP. <laughs> Either way, that pretty much cleared out that room really dang quickly. So let's grab this Angel's Tear. Yeah. Eventually, I might need to use another one of those. It's been a hot minute. But yeah, see how there's like extra room past this wall? Yeah, like I said, this is like a little itty bitty part of the dungeon. Then we go through here and then we're back on an extra part of the dungeon. Makes this place a little bit complicated in the map out. But it's not awful. I touched that? I need to take a look at that one. <laughs> All right, some passion fruit right over there. Yeah, I swear I did not touch that one, but that's fine. Hello. Come on, Lucia, I want an MP. But Rothbard gained a level at least. And Jean gains a level. Yeah, that speed is getting really high up there. Anyways. 
Yeah, that room's pretty much clear. So let's grab this, the Hunter Crest. This, honestly, is not the best thing in the world. But, yeah. All it really does is increase your agility, which, again, is your evasion stat. So... I guess if you want to put on, like, say, Lamina, or maybe even Ronfar? Mm. Not great. Honestly, not great in the slightest. Either way, that's pretty much all the items in this floor, so let's just make our way down and around. How close am I to leveling? Yeah, no. <laughs> that's gonna take a while. Uh, I mean, Lamina's getting one battle. Alright, that's fine. Ow. And there's that level I just mentioned. Yeah, that range buff. Not the useful, not, not the useful. Not very useful, honestly, but could be. But Ice Lance goes in the ice wall now. So we got an even better zone attack. Not that I've been using it in this dungeon though, but I don't know. <laughs> All we gotta do is just keep going up right over here. And the next door is over here. And now, for the last little bit, just another big curve around area that we already were at, where that angel tier was in the center there. A couple more enemies to go. No items around here, just enemies. You may or may not get an extra level out of it, but might as well. All right, and that's the last one. So let's just kind of move on over. Because we're finally at the end. Just be careful, right over here, there is a chest that you should grab. Just make sure that you don't go too close to the edge there. Because you never know what might happen. You might get into a battle that you might not want to be into yet because you're not prepared for it. So, speaking of being prepared, let's um use some of these things. I don't really necessarily need to go too hard on the curing. Really, Ron Far? I don't even know if it's even worth it to cure that. <laughs> Gene, on the other hand, yeah, has just... Top that off. Hero, on the other hand, yes as well. And Lamina as well. Nine, and yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Not gonna bother with that. Otherwise, let's see. I think I can get by with just using one Starlight. I think I'm good there. There we go. Everybody else is plenty okay for this next fight. I don't need to worry too hard about healing. Other than that, that's pretty much a Black Dragon Cave. Yeah, it's very uneventful. A lot of the enemies are plenty easy to get by, especially if you make Hero be able to go first. Because being able to attack three times, and then another three times, you get rid of most everything in the field right away. Because they're all weak to physicals, aside from that one enemy that you need Lamina for. Other than that, we're pretty much good to go. So, next time Azure plays more Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Let's take on the Black Fiend that's a little bit right over there. You can kind of see his head poking out there. See you all then.